Well, the moment of truth. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody who uh, entered for the Desmond O'Grady Poetry Competition. I'd like to congratulate the 40 people who made the long list and a special word of congratulations to the 10 people who made the short list. It was a pleasure to adjudicate the competition. It was a nightmare to come up with a result. In the short list, we had poems by men and women. I didn't realize that one of them was as young as 16. Congratulations. I, uh, I had no idea where they were from, whether they were from America or England or Ireland, I did not know. I did not know who they were. I had no way of knowing. Uh, we had poems of pain, poems of joy, poems about poetry, poems about the seasons, poems about exile, all sorts of poems, any of whom would have been a worthy winner, but there can only be one. And after much agonizing between sonnets and, and, and free verse particularly, I came across a poem that was both free and formal at the same time, that spoke from the heart about exile. And for that reason, I name Mike Callagher's poem, Dossa, as the winner. So congratulations to Mike Gallagher, a worthy winner, and thank you all, particularly the 10 shortlisted poets. So Mike, would you like to come up and say a word, and maybe read your poem again? certainly no speech written so uh, I don't know I'm just amazed and I, I don't I'm not one for talking in public uh, I'd just like to say a few things uh, first of all this isn't about me winning this is this is the winner tonight is poetry J just listening to what was on here tonight you know and uh, I've just come from nowhere because I, I've been writing for about 10 years and you know anyone can do it. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the 10 people or the nine people who are with me tonight. Some outstanding poems. I'd also, uh, uh, it feels like all my birthdays have come together. <laughs> and funny enough, my birthday is in a couple hours time. <laughs> Uh, my my next birthday. I won't. I won't even. I won't even tell you. <laughs> uh, as long as you don't start throwing me up in the air or some bloody thing. Uh, the vertigo would never put up with it. Uh, it's also coming together of something tonight. I've had a lot of friends here. I've uh, started off in the stall with a writer's group in the stall and four or five, maybe six of the people who are with me in the stall are here tonight. We've, we've all been going 10 years, uh, some of longer, but the group has been going for 10 years. And I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even be writing only for those people. Uh, I'm just not a kind of a natural writer, you know. I, wouldn't, I, w I certainly wouldn't be, write, I wouldn't be writing, for, but only for the uh, help and thing I get from those people, and the competition, and the critiques. And that's, this poem I, uh, I read tonight was very heavily critiqued at my writing group. Uh, a lot of the old rubbish I put into poems was exercised very early on from it. And the other uh, people is coming together of Listowel and, and Limerick, because uh, I've been coming to the White House for quite some time, and uh, my first publishing was in the Ballet of the Urnahu magazine down the stall. Uh, the editor is over there, John McGrath. And I, uh, I had only written one poem, I sent it in. Billy Kane actually sent it in from Billy John B. Kane's sub, because I, I didn't think it was a poem, but he sent it in. And I got this phone call, uh, are you Mike Gallagher, yeah? Uh, did you write a poem, yeah? 
uh, would you mind if we published in Ballydunno magazine? I said, no, not at all. He said, uh, well, I tell you the best news. He said, you've won 100 euro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, I just said to him, I said, this is a bloody great racket. One poem, 100 euro, very you'll never stop. The next time I got uh, published was in Limerick, in Revival. And I got to thank Dominic Taylor down there for that. Uh, and the first time I read kind of in public uh, was here in the White House, uh, six, seven years ago, I suppose. And so it's been Limerick in the store, it's been great to me. It's great that two of them are together here tonight. Uh, I don't think there's much more to say. Just everyone keeps trying, this will come to you. But uh, I've probably got three or four rejections on my thing when I come back. Oh, the other thing is Limerick was, uh, I'm going to be published next year. And I'm going to be, I'm launching at uh, Writer's Week in the store. Again, I'm being published by Limerick Press, uh, Dominic Taylor down there, uh, Revival Press. So, a lot of happy marriages tonight. I'll try to go through this poem again. Uh, Dasser. Sandy, I know this poem so much off by heart, but uh, I kept it for and I can't do it without, the, without reading it. Dasser. Just another dosser in a London street. Another down and out, too damn idle to make ends meet. How we showed our contempt for our fellow countrymen. Tossing the odd penny, a tanner on the spin. We did our nostrils skywards to avoid the rancid stench of scrumpy and red biddy. The acrid pong of piss oozing from park benches where tramps in wasted wisdom disputed loud another world's mess. O'Rourke, now he was different. We turned our scorn with a sullen stare that mocked it for his faint timidity. A man beyond pain, his future haunted in a distant past. He treads, retreads St. George's Road in the stark unwanted now. There came a story of war, whispered low, of Coventry, a man running beneath a bright November moon, running through the rubble, through cratered streets, through the whish and whoosh and crump of falling bombs. Under a yellow sky tinged with red and orange leaps of flame, through stale, singed dust, through thick and choke of billowed smoke, through Kingsway to Clara Street to flatten pile of earth and stone and brick and tile, wedding photo still on the wall, and underneath, severed arm of youngest son, the others mangled far below. And so he treads, retreads St. George's Road, like all of us in life's rude game of chance, a creature sometimes of choice, more often of circumstance. <laughs>